Nobody really cares. I care. But what do you think? So uh, joining me to discuss this, uh, I've got uh, former Labour MP Dennis McShane and trade unionist and broadcaster Paul Embry. Right, I'm going to start with you. Dennis McShane, is it all much ado about nothing? Well, I have to say, when I heard Keir Starmer and Rishi and did somebody say the Lib Dems, Ed Davies, now a football fan, I was a bit bewildered. We've got no cops on the streets yet. It's just this meltdown. You, you know the list better than I do, <laughs> Nana. And we're talking about a tiny little thing which you have to get a micro or magnifying glass out to find on a shirt. I mean, it's not even the English flag. I'm just holding that up. Just draw, well, draw it. it. No, well, I, I don't know if you can. The English flag is a no, square. It stems from the battlefield and it's got a cross that fills no. the square. This thing is a long, traversal, horizontal line and a much smaller vertical one. So I... Let's put it back up, Dennis. I, we I, literally I, got the camera I'm on so it. I'm so sorry. I'm lower. Here we are, here oh, we are. Oh, so you keep your hands still, Wilma. Right. Try to make the point. The flag of St George has, since yeah, medieval you, times, yeah, been a simple yeah. square and an absolutely square cross inside it. This fella is a long traversal and a very short going up and down line. I'm glad we, uh, we did that. And let's, let's honestly, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm just, but, but, I mean, I love it. That's, that's England. I mean, we make a fuss about anything and nothing. All right, Paul, Paul Embry, what do you think about this? Well, I, I'm not terribly exercised about it, but I do understand why people might be, because the truth is, Nana, we are living through a period in this country where, if you like, the, the liberal and cultural elites are taking any opportunity they can to trash the traditions of the country, to trash the history of the country. We see it all the time. Mm -hmm. um, and I think people, when they see stuff like this, um, they are instinctively defensive. But when they see a big corporation like Nike, which is well known for, you know, flaunting its woke credentials mm. and pushing diversity as much as it can down people's throats, when they see Nike interfering with the national flag in this way, particularly when, and it is true that these uh, colours are very similar to the, to the trans colours. Now, I'm not suggesting that there is uh, a deliberate ploy on the part of Nike uh, in that regard. But I think people are probably right to be a little bit suspicious about the whole thing. Look, I'm willing to give Nike the benefit of the doubt on this occasion. They say that the, the colours are a tribute to the training kit of the players in 1966 with the blue and the, the purple. Yeah. Uh, and that, that may be true, but I do think it was silly. I think it's a silly move rather than a sinister move. And if you united all of the main parties, political parties against you, you've probably done something wrong. Mm. You see, I, I don't believe that, you know, the tribute to whatever, whatever, because I distinctly remember Dylan Mulvaney, which I'm pretty sure was Nike. And she, he, I almost said she, he, because they've almost done it to me now. He was promoting sports bras for women. OK, so uh, for me, it feels like there is... Yes, OK, they may say that it's to, you know, commemorate the, the players, but I, d I don't really believe that at all. I just feel that there's more of another issue. Maybe I'm turning into one of those, what, are they, what do you call those people? Not the, the people who make up stuff and then... Um, the oh, theory. Conspiracy theories. Yeah, oh, conspiracy I'm turning theories. into one of those. Conspiracy but but theories. it is a bit close, isn't it? Dennis was saying, am I, am, I, am, I, am I turning into a conspiracy theorist with this? No, not at all. It's, it's, it's great fun. I mean, Paul's a very young man, very fluid, active young man, but I'm old enough to have watched the 1966 World Cup. You remember, that's the last time we won something. Mm. And the English team ran out in the colours of Wales, red. And I thought, what's going on? Because the Germans wore white. Mm. And well, perhaps we were being polite to the Germans, having beaten them in the war. And let, we let that, that colour go first. So be a bit serious. The worrying thing for me is... England, out of its old imperial nostalgia, gives itself the right to put four different national teams, or uh, Britain does, uh, into these tournaments. No other country does. France could Germany. There were two Germanys, when, mm. again, when I was young. Why don't they have two teams? Uh, I'd be a bit nervous before making a huge they fuss do. about that. They, do. they, 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 they used do. to. They, they did. Before the no, fall before, of the Berlin Wall, there was the East Germany the point, and the point, the point is, Paul, that France also incorporated Algeria and Tunisia. Now, we ought to be careful until somebody seriously asks us, why have you got the right to four teams of British players in these tournaments and we've only got the uh, right to one? Well, this has one. got nothing to do with the flag, though. No, no, Well, no. then that's what we're talking about. So we're talking but the, about flag the flag itself, you remember, Paul will remember, because <laughs> uh, he's very sound on this, when it was 
No. 20 years ago, it was the BMP and the National Front yeah, but, but and that, the English Defence well, we League that carried. Though. Thank yeah. God we did. Well, we took the flag back. Um, we didn't allow these people to weaponise it. And that's in the same vein, should we be allowing uh, companies like Nike to make money out of it? Because that's what they're doing. They're making political capital and PR out of us talking about it, whilst also manipulating our flag and to make it not resemble our flag. That's just well, absurd. I, I, think, I think, look, the lesson is... If you're a big corporation and you've got the contract to do something like this, don't interfere with the national flag. Yeah. That's the key thing because you will run the risk of getting blowback, as Nike have done on this occasion. I think actually, probably in many respects, now the more important point was the point that the the gentleman who was being interviewed by Ben outside Wembley Stadium a few minutes ago made, which was in terms of the price, the money mm. that Nike are making from these kits. It's an absolute racket. The cheapest uh, shirt, this shirt, the yeah, cheapest. Yeah get for a child for a standard shirt is 65 pounds now mm. i think that actually uh, is a scandal it's a racket and it goes to the heart of the question of whether football is a working class game anymore i remember years ago i'm a wolves fan i used to get the wolves kit each year and it didn't cost very much at all when you've got parents paying at least 65 quid and sometimes more for, for the you know the, the higher quality versions of the shirt mm. uh, you have to ask that question whether it's a game for working class people well, i paul, think that paul, is a, 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 paul as a grandfather I can assure you uh, that Lidl has very good English shirts for kids and not quite the posh ones. But of course, Lidl is a German owned firm. So yeah, they're but, serving up the English uh, yeah, flag. But, obviously. but also, look, my flag is the British flag, the Union Jack. I am born in Scotland, part Irish family. Uh, okay, so no, no, I'm, Dennis, I'm, I'm not sure the there. flag I'm, of St George speaks I'm going to stop me. you there. I'm going to stop you there because we're running out of time, not because I didn't want to hear one of your tirades about when you were young. How much time have we got? Not that long. <laughs> but yeah, should, should companies be manipulating this flag? I don't think actually corporations should be allowed to if they're using a national flag. I think they should be paying licensing money to actually use the flag anyway. I don't think they should be allowed to manipulate it. Paul Embry, thank you so much. Also, Dennis McShane, good to talk to you. Thank you so much. Right.